So here we go for the testing. So I'm gonna hook everything up. I'm gonna put ice water and stuff and ice blocks in there. And we will actually see how much amps it's going to draw from this motor. But here's how I use it. I sit there and do all of my editing. If you're an editor or what have you, if you like to play games, awesome. But let's jump into the testing. So here is where I keep all of the, like the, the ice stuff. I don't have any meats in here right now, which I would have, but here's all the stuff we have, um, you know, an ice, I guess, pack and two jugs of ice and water. With that, it, it is not fully a block of ice because I wanted it to have some water in the actual machine. So let's put these in there and do the test. So let's see how hot it is in here right now because I am going to do a test to see if this actually will cool a small room. So we are at about 86.7 and 87-ish. So uh, let's see what we got. All right, I have everything set up. I have this ice chunk. I do have water because if you just have blocks of ice and there's no water to come up here, um, it's not gonna work as well. So mainly what I assume is gonna happen, all the hot air that's in here, it's going to draw in the air and it's gonna come in here and it's gonna come out through there. Hopefully it's gonna be cooler and I will use this thermometer to get the outside, I guess, air reading as it comes out here and as well, I want to see if this number drops in this whole room, right? And it's a 10 by 12 room. It's in my apartment garage. So um, let's get this hooked up and let's see how much power it uses as well. How loud the motor is. So this is an app on my uh, iPhone 15. So I'm not sure if it's super accurate with, um, you know, what certain people have online. So uh, here we go. So we have the 12 volt DC. You guys, it is not AC. I did try and hook this up to AC and it said, uh, no, I'm not going to work. If you know how that works with AC and DC, um, if you wanna put that down below, that'd be awesome. So let's uh, turn the power on. Cool, and let's turn the AC on so you should hear the water in there should be going uh, I think you can see it right there and it is on um, I guess speed too if you will and here's the switch to do the power right so that's super low I don't even know if you can hear that let me get the readings off of this so it's on the lowest setting we're at about 55 ish so let's see what we got here let's turn it to like so that's full power uh Let's go half power. So this is about half power. So that's at about 70. That's in fluctuating for some reason. Very interesting, let me. There you go. It's about 70. Six, let's say. Now if we do it full blast. It's about 91. Let's see what the output of this. So it's, it's all, uh, let's go up a little bit. All right, so you can hear that, all right? 75, the output with the pump is about 1.6 amps. Actually, let's see what it is without 
the AC on. It's about 0.9, right? Uh, let's crank this up all the way. about 4.6 let's turn the pump on and see what we got here it's between 5.2 and 5.3 so now let's just uh, see what this does and uh, I will get back to you in 20 minutes all right we have about six minutes left a little bit over six minutes so let's see how much ice we got here so yeah it's working you know that's pretty good i do wonder how long it's going to take for this ice to melt i will do some more on that but um okay that's cold so i just wanted to show you guys this so it does all the air in really really good all right so let's see how cold this is actually put this back up let's see what this looks like all right all right it's cranking so now let's, let's see how cold this gets So all in all, it's about 61 degrees, right? And I'm going to do a quick little test on how far I could actually feel it. So let me guess, we have about four minutes left. So, so it does feel really, really good. So. On low, uh, I could probably feel it to about here. I can feel the the coldness right here. I could probably as it's about a foot away. So it's probably like three quarters. It's not crazy good. So I would say that that right there is about 270 CFM that I don't have a, a meter, you know, all, all that kind of stuff. Um, I would say it only works if it's on you. So if you're at a park or if you're at a small room and you don't want to use an AC unit, uh, this is probably the best option. So it's been a little over three hours. So um, it is about, let's say 83-ish in here and let's see what we got here. Let's turn this off or down for now. Sheesh. So the, as you can see, there's n the no more ice chunk. And let's see how much ice is in these jugs. Ah, uh, there's still a little bit. Bro, oh, that's so annoying now. All right. Um, and this one. Ah! got a little bit in there oh it is cold -wee. where's my thermometer i don't know it's gone um but yeah so i would say that this will probably last three and a half hours at 85 degrees ish so if you guys have that question and this is how it looks is it something you should 
invest in into an AC of some sort or a cooler that has ice in it. Let me know down below what you think and like, subscribe and have a great rest of your day.